Good morning. Happy Tuesday to you. I hope you're doing well and that your weekend went well and that you are rejoicing in the Lord today. Now, one reason that you might have a hard time rejoicing today is because you can't keep everybody happy. You ever get frustrated about that? You do one thing and then the people over here are mad and then you do that thing and then the people over here are mad and it just seems like you can't make everybody happy. Well, the good news is that Jesus had the same problem. It says, what shall I compare this generation to? It's like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to their playmates. We played the flute for you and you didn't dance. We sang a dirge and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he has a demon. And the Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, look at him, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is justified by her deeds. Jesus was willing to wait. The judgment of other people was not the end all for him. The smile of his father, knowing that he was the beloved, and knowing that the father was well pleased with him, satisfied his soul, even when he could make all the people happy. This is actually the same chapter where Jesus says this, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. You know, the yoke and the burden from trying to keep everybody happy will wear you out and make you mad. Come to Jesus, all you who weary and are heavy laden, and he will give you rest. I'll see you tomorrow.